After leaving his band Hollywood Undead, this LA native embarked on a solo career with his catchy brand of rap rock. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with Deuce about Nine Lives. talk about Nine Lives, uh, a bit about the recording and writing process and what you guys were going for with them. We don't plan it from the beginning, you know, we just get in the studio, me and him get in the studio and uh, I write, I write and then I'll show him stuff, I'll record it, I'll show him stuff. If it's dope, we'll keep it, if it's not, we'll trash it, you know, there's a lot of shit that's trash. There's a song called Nobody Likes Me, you know, and it's really fucking simple because it's about someone who said no one likes me in Hollywood when that whole, whole thing occurred in Hollywood, you know? Someone was like, oh, he's not in that band anymore, no one likes him anymore, you know? And so I made that song about that subject, you know? And a lot of my songs are like that, they're about one specific subject. How did your time with Hollywood Undead uh, kind of improve you as a solo artist? Just writing all those songs, you know, producing them, uh, putting all the songs together from day one to the last day, you know, and after you write that much, you could pretty much do, you know, I could do my own shit, I could collab, like I collab with Travis McCoy on my album, and I don't need other writers and other producers, like I never have other writers or producers really, except people around me, you know, but that's the difference, is that I am not going to writers and producers, you know, which, you know, they are, and I'm not, you know. And I guess the difference is just skill, you know, getting that experience, writing that many songs, you know, and then writing another album, Deuce Nine Lives, you know, and uh, writing more right now, too, always writing, you know. We write in the hotels, you know, we, we write when we're fucking drunk, you know. <laughs> that's probably the best time. That's one of the best times. So you get all emotional and shit. Like, I love you. <laughs> and how have the fans embraced you since you left? They just have. You know, some people like me more because they feel like some of my new stuff is more real, you know. Maybe 10 to 20 of them haven't, you know. And those 10 to 20 are just... You know, they're just following orders, you know. Do you want to tell us a bit more about why you guys chose to wear masks and a little bit about the image? Just because it's themed around every song, you know, like we have a song called Let's Get a Crack and have you seen that one? And that's Mirabal, you know, and then we have America, we have America mask. And we don't always wear masks, but, um, it's just themes that we could theme with the song, and we, it's fun and looks cool with the tattoos. Even though it sounds cheesy saying that, it does, you know? Sometimes we don't wear a mask, but that's the whole point of it, is to have a whole theme with the mask, and it creates more of a show live, you know? And it's just fun. It also adds to the fact that we're musicians, or there's music coming at you instead of like, yo, I'm like Ryan Seacrest, check out my motherfucking face and shit. Like, sorry, Ryan, I ain't blessed with your good looks, homie. So, yeah, I mean, it's another way of just being like, yo, yeah, it adds to the message or the I communication am. of the song. He is. <laughs> I don't know why you wear that shit. Where do you draw inspiration for your lyrics? And I don't care. I'll write about anything from perverted ass shit to, to political shit to love. And that's, what, that's what's good about music, you know? Mainly uh, also the fortune cookies at the local Chinese spot is a huge lyrical inspiration. Like, <laughs> you know, like uh, there will be blood. Oh, there you go. There's America right there off a of fortune cookie. <laughs> yeah, most of my lyrics are from fortune, like a whole bunch of fortune cookies. <laughs> and we just tape them all together and we go to the mic. And some of some of the songs are made from fortune cookies. I don't know if you're serious <laughs> or not, but I feel like it could be possible. <laughs> I wonder if it is. That's a good idea, dude. I never <laughs> thought about that. not a bad that. idea. I never thought about that. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Cool. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs>